Yeah. OG. Listen. I'm about to tell you a story I've never shared. I've always kept it to myself. Hopefully, I'm done a skeezer. A traumatic experience. And no, I'm not asking for your help. But take it to Ilin Yumiza. Listen up. But just before you scroll on Goja, this story is not done in a fikia all borders. When I tell you about this girl called Ruby Jezebel, aka Empress, Queen of Golgotha, fine girl. Originally she was from Nakuru, but upon Kufika Nai, she settled in Buruburu. She was 19, I guess, sick of sure about the age. But the first time we met, it looked on the Buru stage. I was in fourth form, look on Metoka Fangi, Aquinas, Nicking Goja Matayole, in the Shukishima Simba. She was a lone rock in a blue blouse. And some jeans. I'm like this gotta be the hottest girl I've ever seen. Started a conversation, hoping I would see her later. Since I didn't have a phone, she wrote a number on a paper. Go fuck a home, nick on my mother, see when don't him call. That's how we started vibing to the when he shall fall. Told her me about the student, na bad on ecosystem. She told me she's in college and I devoted Christian. Long story short, me and Ruby started dating, but cause she was slightly older, bunch of people started hating. After Kumada Chua, me and her were still together. I was so sure that Iki to Inge last forever. Didn't have a stable job. I was a part-time bouncer slash rapper slash waiter wa kusavwa to kwa counter. Ruby was working in West D, front desk. She was earning more than me. I was hoping I won't mess. Cause most of the time, endo likwa anani pa fair. Akuna siku inge pita kama Ruby a bear. She was the best thing that ever happened in my life. We were young. But I felt like she's the potential wife. She comforted me. Si kungo mazangu zlikwa si chesui. Kani showa se kapinye huwa wapembelezui. Then suddenly vitus kanza ku change. Rubia kacha kwenda church. Rubia kanza kuwa strange. Rubia no neka na westi. I'm a bad one down your range. But despite this imashida, my love was still the same. I talked to her about it, but she never seemed interested. She didn't care about the love that we had invested. Ah, mashallah. But a nigga never gave up. I gave her time to think, hoping we was gonna make up. Two months down the line, Rubia taki kuni ona. Heartbroken. I mean, she almost left me in a coma. She moved from Buruburu, baka up down la vie. Kazi likwa tu sani kugeuza ma sugar daddy. She blocked me on the phone, so there's no way I could have reached her. That's when I realized that nyewe kitu ime isha. And like a real man, you know what? I had to accept cause a girl's decision is something that you gotta respect Yeah I was hurt but I moved on still Ruby was living her best life cause the dude had mills Popping bottles on the photos that she posted on the net I was laughed at cause I was getting roasted by my ex Yeah, I learned a lot from that experience Stop dating, and when I did, it wasn't serious Cause he could take a commitment Guess this what they meant when they say that TV took a ground ni different Fast forward three years later, ni kyoka hao Got a call from Ruby, I can request to meet Tao I agreed cause on the real, I was curious She was my girl once, so vako singi mkulia Mpango za mungu, sa zingine hatuoni Imagine this is the same day that I also met with Boni and Ruby never showed up for the meeting. Nika catch kiasi sababu pia sima likwa shiki. I went back home, Nikki checka too. After kuje bisha, something I said I will never do. Two days later, Nikyo FP nika mwaku such Ruby. Then I saw a post saying rip, Ali passed juicy. You see, Ruby committed suicide on the same exact day me and her are supposed to meet. And this is after finding out that she had contracted HIV. She also left me a letter. I can name be Apollo and apologizing for, you know, what I had to go through after we separated. And I just feel so, I always feel sad about it. Rest in peace, Ruby. Damn.